Hello students, continuing with our lecture for the third unit, Laser Components. Let us continue. Previous lecture, what did we do? We did that the principle of laser action is stimulated emission of radiation. Laser output are two types, continuous and the pulsed ones. And active medium laser classification is solid state, liquid or gas lasers. Now, various levels of laser system. This question has been asked many times. And the famous questions that are asked here is that uh, laser types and their energy level systems in your syllabus that are only two level, three level and a beginning of the four level systems. Now, Two level system does not show laser action. Why? This is a question that is asked. Then another question asked is why is three level better than two level? Obviously, because it is going to give us a good laser output. Secondly, rate equation is asked for the two level and the three level laser systems. So let us begin. What do you mean by the word two level? Two level obviously means that there are just two levels between which laser action has to appear, which is not possible because for essential requirement for laser action is metastable state, population inversion and optical cavity setup. So when we are having two levels, it is not possible to achieve laser light as metastable state is missing from this. And as you even see it here in this energy level diagram, laser action is only obtained when atom drops from the metastable state. This is not possible in two level. Hence, two level uh, setup does not show laser action. And whatever number of atoms have been absorbed and pumped, that much number approximately will be there that will be giving the probability of stimulated emission. So rate of change of population of level two or excited state is equal to gain of excited state or level two due to stimulated absorption plus loss of population of excited state or level 2 due to stimulated emission. Now, in order to derive an expression for rate equation, let us simplify it. See, first we will draw the energy levels 1 and 2 like this. And we will short, very short description, we will write that let N1, N2 be number of atoms in level 1 and level 2. Even E2 be energy of ground state and excited state. Let the later producing system be in thermal equilibrium at a temperature T. And radiation of frequency and energy density be given by uh, number of atom change equal to n1 u mu b1 2 minus n2 u mu b2 where this u is energy density b12 and b21 are einstein's coefficients one is of absorption and the other is of emission now, rate of change of population of level 1 or ground state is equal to loss of population of ground state or level 1 due to stimulated absorption plus gain of population of ground state or level 1 due to stimulated emission. So, mathematically, we will say that this much is this and we will put the terms here as you can see here on the screen. Simplify the expression. Total number of atoms we are having are N1 plus N2. We will put this value here. Simplify the expression and assume N2 minus N by 2 equal to N where N is total number of atoms which are going to be a constant. Differentiate the above equation and put this value here in the expression above and integrate both sides and we will get at t equal to 0 n equal to n naught equal to minus n by 2 and this then we put and we get the value. So we cannot achieve minimum condition of population inversion in two level setup. 
what are the advantages of three level and four level over two level and obtain the expression for population inversion in three level setup. See, now look here at this diagram. This is very important and it has been asked many number of times. This is your three level setup. Have a look at it. You are having a ground state. You are having a meta stable state and you are having an excited state. The transition that is going to happen from meta stable state will only give us laser light. Here, the three level and the four level setup, as you can see, it, they are having a very good pumping efficiency. And same, we will do that number of atoms absorbed will be equal to the number which are responsible for the spontaneous and the stimulated decay. We will write an expression for the total number of atoms put it here in this value and we get the expression. So for threshold population inversion, the required pump power should be equal to A21, which results in a large pumping power requirement to pump ground level atoms in the system. Energy required per unit time, that is power to maintain population inversion in terms of pump frequency is given by this expression. So for four level laser system, again, you will use the very same method which we have discussed. What are the advantages that the wideness of excited band and narrowness of metastable band is requ required for better laser action? And obviously, the higher the number of transitions, they lead to an additional loss of energy, only one disadvantage. This is also a very famous question. Explain four level lasers with examples. So four level lasers, you can just write first the number of atoms from E1 to E4, neglect N2 and N4 due to negligible population of corresponding levels. And... Simplify this expression by just putting the values here and you get this expression. So for threshold condition, del n should be equal to zero. We conclude that for threshold population inversion, the required pump power should be equal to zero, which is practically insignificant. Hence, power to maintain population inversion in terms of pump frequency is as follows. So in four level laser system, the lower level is not ground level. Therefore, the minimum power required to achieve population inversion is practically insignificant. Discuss continuous and pulsed wave lasers. Continuous lasers are those which give an output in a continuous form like helium neon laser and their output comes out in a very continuous form. Here you can look at the diagram also. But the uh, uh, process in which the value of steady continuous wave lasing and holes are generated in the continuous curve, process in which the value of saturation gain drops for each lasing mode from the small signal to the threshold gain is known as hole burning in the gain curve. So best example of this is helium neon laser. Pulsed wave, you can just pick up ruby laser and explain it in detail. That ruby laser gives output in the form of pulses. Hence, helium neon laser is better compared to ruby laser. And not only this, the output of ruby laser is said to be in the form of spikes, which we will explain in the next lecture.